Yeah, we cursed out like a 2,000 people. Because when the parade was coming, man, this whole street was packed. Man. It was packed, and they was, was all packed. looking at us. Yeah, yeah. We did a good It was quiet. Yeah. It sounded, you could hear echoes when we was talking. Everybody was quiet. We we got that. I got the video somewhere. Mm -hmm. It done got deleted off YouTube. <laughs> you talking about people being marked, man. That was the day. That was on the day. Like the day Obama was at the... Oh. Obama, that night Obama was out here was crazy. Oh, we was talking to them wicked ass bitches, Joyce. And then people, this, she, oh, Joyce. she was in love with a uh, little guy or something. Oh, Joyce came out, this, yeah, this black bitch came out here. And she was like, oh no, I'm finna prophesy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to teach us the Bible. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I wish old Joyce would come back out, man. Bitch probably got put to death by now. Uh, nah, she was cool though, man. She was cool. Now, they, we talk shit about women, but she was kind of cool, man. Even though she was wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we enjoyed talking to her. Yeah, she was cool. You we know what I mean? She talked to a lot cool. of cool people. Yeah. Out there. But we talked to way more, a thousand percent more dickheads. Man, that's yeah. why we come out here on campus, too. People are like, why y'all out of campus? Y'all should be teaching in the hood. Yo, fuck the hood. What? Yeah. So we come out here, we, like you said, we encounter thousands of people out here. Yeah, you never see that many people in the hood. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, right. Israelites that never even imagined they were Israelites. Never been told they're Israelites. Yep. You could have walked around thinking they a fucking East Indian or an Arab they about like they're an Israelite. Yeah, you walk two, two blocks down the street, that's the hood over there anyway. Yeah. Good. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem. So, like, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So Jerusalem is synonymous with Israel, which are the children of God, the children of the Most High. Keep going. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sighed and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, so you're supposed to be sighing and crying for all this wicked shit that's be done, in, done out here in America. You should be sighing and crying for all this oppression. The cops always fucking with you, pulling you over, stealing your property, stealing your vehicle from you. They call it impounding, I call it theft, okay? Finding you. Yeah, finding you, harassing you. You should be sighing and crying for all, the, all this homosexuality, all these abortions. They putting poison in your food, they put fluoride in the water. Don't you know all, all, half your food's genetically modified? The genetically modified- half? Yeah, over half. What, 90% of the corn is genetically modified and corn is under almost all your food. And GMO corn causes cancer. That's a fact. It's crazy. And they know what causes cancer. Yeah, Monsanto's. Yeah, Monsanto's. Oh. Y'all y'all should be sighing and crying for all this wickedness out here, man. Like I, my dumbass brother yesterday had never say I don't care what's going on around me or what's going on or who's doing it. I'm just happy and at peace and with myself, and I don't care what's going on. I am not at peace. You want no? That's a fool. <laughs> that's a fool for you, man. Yeah, that's that's a, a, that's, fool. That, that's a fool. That's a fool. That's some foolish talk. Talking about I'm at peace and I'm happy. Every right. day is a fucking struggle. There ain't nothing to be happy about. You you go work. Like I said, in America, there's no Sabbath. The stores stay open seven days a week. They get no rest out here. You work every damn day and break it. If it's the land of the free, they say America's the land of the free. If America's the land of the free, why do you have to go to work every day if you so damn free? But you gotta go to work every day. You ain't free, you, you know what I'm saying? And then when you go to work, that you, they say that you getting paid $8 an hour. You ain't getting paid $8 an hour. When you get your check, half your check is missing. You've been robbed. Way before you get your check. Yeah. Oh yeah, and to get your check, cash, you don't get money. Or actually real money is gold and silver. You don't get gold or silver. And you don't even get cash. You get a check. And to get your check cash, you gotta go through the so-called Jew. Because the so-called Jew who is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's right. To get your check cash, you gotta go through a so a fake Jew to even get your money. Because they got everything on lock. The synagogue is Satan. Okay? Cause... Hey, we should get that. Revelation 2 and 9. Uh, bring a scripture out. Bring it out. That can fit right in there. Well, what you read? I'm talking about what he just came out. Revelation. Revelation. Hold 
proved that what you got your revelation to or not. What's up, devil? What he said? Oh, my fault. I apologize. I thought he was talking shit. <laughs> hey, then he gets a friendly fire every once in a while. He still looks like a weirdo. Probably a Jew. He had his head covered and shit. <laughs> I was just going by the spirit. He probably was a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be quick. He don't fuck around, boy. Probably a juggler. Got some bowling pins <laughs> in his book bag. I don't know what he like. You say he's probably a devil. When he got yeah. 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 Cause a lot of people are getting tired of these fucking Jew bastards, man. Cause nowhere in the Bible does it say uh, uh, the children of God were uh, uh, Jewish. It's the Israelites. The so-called Jew in Israel is not an Israelite. They're an Edomite from the house of Esau. They're the devil. They got rich off of usury. They got it right. The Bible, yeah, the, this law is in the Bible. It said, thou shalt not charge thy brother usury. Usury is interest. And everything in America is based off interest. When you buy a house, they charge you interest. That's against the laws of the Bible. When you buy a car, they charge you interest. That's against the laws of the Bible. I'll get a scripture to prove right. you spend You spend the first few years paying off the interest first right before you even actually start paying off the house car or whatever you're paying thousands of dollars in interest well that the, the laws in the bible protect you from that right and they're so-called jews they claim that they're your brother and then they follow the bible and why they charging everybody interest because they're the devil oh uh, read that revelation two and nine i know thou works in tribulations and poverty but thou art rich and I know the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews and are not. That's just the fake Jews over there in Israel, the ones who own all the banks, the ones who control the government, the ones who uh, put Barack Obama in office. Okay, read that again. I know thou works in tribulation and poverty, thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan, okay? They are the devil. Chief house of Satan. Oh, I got a scripture. I was going to try to find it. The Fuck. chief house of wickedness. Hold on a second. I got a scripture if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, that's all these laws to oppress Israel. That's, that's those. I got it right here. It's the law in the Bible. Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Usury of money, usury of victuals, usury of anything that is lent upon usury. So usury is interest, okay? So you're not supposed to charge your brother interest. Lending money to say you gotta, if I lend you $20, you gotta give me back 25. That, that's wickedness according to the Bible. You're supposed to help your brother out. You ain't supposed to be taking advantage of him being poor and not having no money. He can pay you back, but you can't make him pay you back extra. That's evil. Right, right. Because in, in the hood, what's common, their interest, what, you know, Israel usually get is 25%. Oh, but you, you can't pay nothing. Man, that's taking years. You go, to you go to a check cashing or payday advance, whatever. Mm -hmm. You get a hundred dollars. You got to pay them a hundred and twenty-five or yeah, something. That's evil, man. That's twenty-five percent interest. And then when you get your check, they take all this money out your check. Then half y'all didn't got a bank account, so you got to go to the check cashing place where they take even more money out your check to cash it. You got to pay like ten percent of your check just for them to cash it. And then by the time you get your check, you pay your bills, you buy food. Pay car insurance and all this madness. Mm -hmm. You ain't got nothing left. You got like 30 bucks for the week. Hey, then you got to buy gas money. So you're spending half your money just to get back and forth to work. So you're a slave. That's what you call slavery. Institutionalized. And if you don't pay it off in time, it's, more, it's still more interest. Yep. That interest keeps adding on. Be late on that shit. Yeah, be late. Late fees. Then your interest goes up. Yep. A late fee is interest. That's totally fees. fucking devil, man. man. You know, these people would love to have it so, though. They love it that way. They, they enjoy being slaves. There's nothing better. As long as you can watch your football, that's all you care about. What we out here for the children's dumbasses. 
The oppressed crying the wilderness. Uh, what was that, Joe? Just, just read it. Joe 7 and 11. Joe 7 and 11. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will not, I will not speak in the anguish of my, sp uh, my spirit. Because it pisses you the fuck off going You read that over, loud ass hoes. This place makes you miserable. Yeah, read that again. It stresses you. Job 11, verse 11, me. Job 7 and 11. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will not speak in the anguish. I will, I will sp speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. <laughs> Yeah, How many we, people came out here and told us, well, y'all can talk, you know y'all can talk and y'all can get your message out better if you speak quietly. No, I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, Be Rob Parsley. You heard that, man. My message don't get out at all. It's not even our message. This is the Lord's message. Right. So you, you can't properly teach the word without speaking with uh, anger. Anguish? Me and Look, anger. They got Google Maps for Jews. All the Jews walk back there for now. Yeah, we probably, yeah, they got us on Google. <laughs> and we're like, uh, this is how you avoid the Israelites. Oh, um, here we go. Well, uh, this is uh, St. Mark 1 and 1, the beginning of the gospel of Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High. Yeah, he's the son of God. As it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. That's talking about John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And John the Baptist is doing the same thing we're doing. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Yeah, the crying. That don't mean he was out in the middle of the woods in the forest <laughs> yelling at squirrels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> people think that's what that means. Yeah, weeping. He was out on the streets <laughs> teaching. <laughs> This is, it's right here's the wilderness. Yep, yep. It, like, there's number of wild that. beasts running around. Mm -hmm. Y'all call them people. Mm -hmm. no, they're animals, mm -hmm. savages. They're zombies. They're zombies is what, they're mindless zombies. Wolves. Flesh eating zombies, yeah, wolves. Hey, there's wolves out there, howling, they're howling at the moon. The wolves have dwelt there in the wilderness. Yeah, rats and roaches is what you got out here. It's an infestation. Mm -hmm. yep. They're fucking vermin. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You gotta call the exterminator. Oh shit. The most high gonna come through like the what was that, the orcan man? Termix. Like he gonna come through like your boy of King of the Hill with all the What is it, Dale? <laughs> They're victims. Amazing. You know, yeah, the American version of Halloween comes from the Irish festival, Sam Hain. Like, you ever watch that movie Halloween? They said Michael Myers was possessed by the spirit of Sam Hain, the devil, Baal. It's been on all week. Oh, like, what's that? What's that? Halloween's like six or seven of them now. Yeah, because the, the festival of Halloween goes back to the ancient festival of the harvest. But during the festival of Sam Hain, it was uh, they would take the children by their legs and smash the baby's head against the idol. It smashes brains all over the place, and they would sacrifice children to the harvest gods. Mm. So that's why Halloween's all about the children. They send your children out to part participate in a satanic ritual, all right? And then why, tonight, while your children are trick-or-treating, a lot of them, they're gonna get snatched up, and they're gonna get disappeared, and they actually gonna get sacrificed on the altar to, to Baal. Right. Probably in one of these Masonic temples. Yeah, all these Masonic temples. There's uh, Freemason temples all all through Columbus. None of them have windows either. Because they're, they're holding secret uh, ceremonies back there. And they're sacrificing children to Baal. This is Jeremiah 13 and I'm going to start at 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my word. That's so my Israel's an evil people who refuse to hear the words of the Lord. Keep going. Which walk in the imaginations of their heart 
and it, walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as the girdle which is good for nothing. They even got a lot of our people, they, they uh, Freemasons, walking after other guys. Like you got Jay-Z wearing the Duels Out Wilt shirts. What's that bitch, Beyonce? Uh, she called herself, what, Sasha Fierce? She said she summoned up a demon. Mm. Uh, oh, go ahead with that. Yeah, Kanye West wearing Baffle Met shirts. But y'all love that popular music too, that filth, that garbage. Y'all love to listen to that evil ass music. And none, and none of that music is giving praise to the most high. And all the music, the music industry is controlled by the so-called Jew, the devil himself. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you No, he's a Jew. He's like, I control that shit. Hey, proud of him. I heard the vibration. Yeah, you can, you, you can, yeah, because the so-called Jew, they don't do so much inbreeding, they all sound alike. You know what I'm saying? They got similar vocals. There's some Edomite hoes right there. That inbreeding. That's what they do. No. no, I know this Jewish family, they all look exactly the same. They all look the same. They sound, the voices sound the same. The father looks just like the son, and his brother looks just like him. All their daughters look the same. The daughters all look like their moms. Everybody looks the same. Fam. To serve them and to worship them shall even be as the girl which is good for nothing. For as the girl cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, saith the Lord, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they would not hear. Yes, yeah, so Israel is supposed to be a special people. And Israel is a special people, but two thirds of Israel ain't fucking right. That's why the Lord gonna kill them. They gonna be destroyed. Only a small remnant of Israel is going to make it and survive the destruction. Mm. Only one third. Mm. Mm. So the, the Lord is going to destroy the majority of his own people. Small. Yeah, people get mad at us for using cuss words. Well, get mad at the Lord when he's killing people. Like, like the Lord during the flood, he killed damn near the entire human race. You think he cares if we use a cuss word or two? You know what I'm saying? Right. This is um, 2nd Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High has made this world for many, but the world to come for a few. That's right. That's because the Bible says, Many are called, but few are chosen. Keep going. I will tell thee a similar to Ezra. Get uh, 1 John 2 and 15. As when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that if giveth much more whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world. Here comes some clowns through here, man. No, hopefully they cross in the street. There be many created, but few shall be saved. See, uh, many created, but only a few gonna make it. All right, only a few gonna be saved. Most of y'all just gotta be destroyed. The most of you people out here, you ain't fucking right. That's why you got fucked up. And we laughing at you. The Lord is laughing at you. They're laughing at themselves. Yeah, you laughing at yourself. Yeah, disgrace. Oh, you dropped a note right there. I can't get it. Got gloves on. <laughs> Make the dude jump. He cracked his goddamn head. Right, right, right. Fucking dumbass, man. These people are fucking retarded. Stupid, man. Just plain stupid. Oh, they they're just a bunch of foolish, a bunch of foolish fools. <laughs> All they care about is just acting a fool, man. This is a fucking joke. If people don't care about no kind of wisdom and knowledge, they're not informed in any way whatsoever. They don't even read the news. If they do watch the news, they get their news from the, da uh, the Daily Show with Jon Stewart. That's their news from a comedian, a Jew. Right. News flash. You can't choose who the fuck gonna give you knowledge. <laughs> well, actually, they can choose. They even choose the right or the wrong. But they don't care about knowledge. Right. They just watch them bullshit all day. The news they watch is Sports Center. Yeah, Sports Center is their main news. Mm -hmm. 
If it ain't on the sports center, it don't matter. Okay. Sports center. Sports center, they hypnotize your ass. They know when you watch sports center, they always got a spinning circle on there. That's the same thing a hypnotist uses. Oh, uh, they don't have that no more. Yeah, they do. They always use that. They always got no. spinning circles. Oh, uh, it's not the old one they have then. Oh, uh, I, you know, I don't ever watch it, so they might have something new. I flip through. I don't watch it, but I've seen it. It's not yeah, the same. They probably no got more. a new technique they're using. Yeah, it's still all flashy lights and shit. Yeah, because they use certain uh, sounds, certain sound vibrations to put you in a trance, to put you under a hypnotic trance. It's scientific. That's why it's called it, a program. Yeah, a program. Hypnotism is real, okay? It is easily to hypnotize you with the right frequencies and right visuals. It's like spells are real. You know, a spell, to spell... Uh, that, Summoning demons is real. Yeah, well, uh, to spell... To cast a spell on somebody, you gotta spell words. That's what it means to cast a spell. It means to spell out words and to use words. And that's why a lot of writers and uh, directors and musicians, they'll tell you outright that they're a magician. Because ma uh, real magic is an artist, is a musician, and a director, and a writer. That's a magician. And that's why Hollywood, the word Hollywood comes means holy wood. And the holy wood is the magic wand that a magician uses. All right? So Hollywood casts a spell on your ass. That's why when you go watch a movie, that's why... Got a loud ass truck go by. That's why when you watch a movie, a movie can make you cry on, on command. They'll play a certain type of music. You know, have certain words being said, and you'll start crying. You know what I mean? Because they, they they know how to control your emotions, and they know how to manipulate your emotions. Okay, it's like a scientific process. They got it mastered. That's why you shouldn't be watching all them Hollywood movies. Just like all these musicians, they're putting spells on you with their music. That's why people listen to certain rap music and they're gonna start shooting people and robbing people because the music will put a spell on them. Uh, people listen to certain types of heavy metal and it'll make them start tearing stuff up and breaking stuff. You know what I mean? I remember one time we was riding down the street in Jeff's car back in high school. We was listening to some corn. And it, you know, this song is like, oh, are you ready? Just, and then Frank just punches the fucking windshield and fucking right. shatters the whole windshield. So you can't tell me the music can't put a spell on you. They explain a mosh pit to me. What the fuck is that? That crazy music starts playing and everybody gets in a trance and goes nuts. Start punching each other and shit. Man, that shit ain't safe. Yeah. Just like the gangster rap. That shit ain't safe. Motherfuckers that listen to a song about shooting or robbing somebody, and they act, they make them go rob somebody. Then you got a mu half the music is about adultery. You know what I mean? You listen to the music, it makes you want to go commit adultery. Like Limp Bizkit got that song that came out last year, Ready to Go. It goes, is that your girl? Because she's telling me she's ready to go. Yeah, that's then they, they'll sing that shit. That's crazy. And that, all the rappers, they always rap about, uh, that's why I fucked your bitch. You got to watch your bitch when she around me. That's some wicked, man. You get a, they deserve to be put to death for that shit, You're man. The worst man you can think of. You deserve. You deserve to get your throat slit. You deserve to get hit upside the head with a goddamn uh, baseball bat or crowbar. Just talking that adultery shit. You deserve to get your teeth knocked out. Get your head split open. The Bible said a punishment for adultery is death. And a death is a violent process. Killing somebody. <laughs> it ain't gonna be like in America. You got people crying over the death penalty. You know what I mean? They, they don't kill it. They don't, there ain't enough people on death row. Okay? They yeah, should, you hear about like one or two a month. Not they even that. They should, they, they, God, they should have a long line going to the gallows. It takes you know them like... That? 12 years to decide that they're going to put him on right, in the chair or something. You should, be, you should have a trial that same damn day, have the witnesses come forth. I have the guillotine outside ready to go. Fuck, we should just use stones the old fashioned way. Bury your ass in a pile of stones. You're right. It'd be a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a lot cheaper, right? <laughs> you ain't got to construct no gallows or nothing. 
This is get a bunch of damn stones and throw them at your ass. But people say, oh, that's uh, that's barbaric. You damn right, it's barbaric. It's barbaric of being an adulterer, committing adultery, ruining someone's family. You know what I'm saying? Spreading your diseases. That's why. That's why the CDC, uh, according to the CDC, over 110 million Americans got STDs. That's because everybody's committing adultery. If, if there wasn't nobody committing adultery, there won't be no diseases. That's common damn sense, man. Everybody sleeping with everybody. Everybody sleeping with everybody. So that means everybody's catching everybody else's herpes. Mm. And you got everybody else's worts. Mm. And everybody else's syphilis and gonorrhea. Mm. Now the gonorrhea don't get so powerful. You can't even kill gonorrhea with anti uh with uh antibiotics, don't what are they call it? Antibiotics. Yeah. Can't think sometimes. You know. They got antibiotic resistant gonorrhea now. Because it, it don't get it, Cause it done mutated to, to such a uh, high level that the drugs can't even kill it no more. Oh, no. I, I got one, I ain't took it yet. I need to, I, I can't breathe. So a lot of times those diseases lay dormant for years. Yeah, they do. Just lay dormant, sleeping. Hot. I mean, if you get tested, they say they can find it right away, but the symptoms will be dormant, so you don't know if you have they it. They said just like that Ebola. They got that Ebola virus going around. You can think that you cured of Ebola, you won't have no symptoms or nothing, but they said Ebola can still live in a man's sperm for 90 days after he's been cured. Damn. And you can still spread it. So, so if that Ebola thing is real, we don't know if it's totally real or not yet. But if it's real, that's just gonna spread like wildfire. It is. It's gonna be like the walking dead out here. I'm read this, bro. This is Jeremiah. I, I, pr I pray that Ebola is real too. And if not, Obama, Obama just came out and said that uh, this Ebola was a trial run for the airborne Ebola. Did you hear him say that? Yeah. Hey, he pretty much admitted there was a government behind that Ebola, the Ebola. I don't know if it was a human cell. No, it was Obama, I heard. Yeah. You need to get your temperature taken. Ooh, boy, that, what's that, Ricola? That ain't no joke, boy. This is Jeremiah 5 and 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in the Ju in Judah, saying... How do you publish something? The word publish comes from the word public. To publish this word, you got to be out in public amongst the people. Yeah, hey, shut your ass you Big up. ass faggot. You going... Hear now this, O oh foolish people. There's yeah, some foolish people out here. And without understanding. They got none understanding. The only understanding they have out here is uh, the understanding of pills, pharmaceuticals, the understanding of how to commit adultery. The men out here, they have no knowledge. The only knowledge they have is knowledge of football. The only thing they know about is the eye formation, the four, three, the nickel, dime All out blitz. <laughs> That's all they know. They know how to do a half court trap in basketball. That, but that's the extent of their knowledge. Two on one coverage. Yeah, that's all they know. <laughs> they had the two three, the, the two three zone. That's that's the extent of their knowledge. And they study that shit too. They stay up all night on franchise mode with their PlayStation. Grown ass man playing a PlayStation. That's for children. Ow. All right, I'm gonna change this battery. I'll go ahead.